Today I'm going to review the cheapest portable collapsible washing machine I could find on Amazon. This thing rang me about $56, $57 and I'm going to give you a review on how it works for big items, small items and this is a comparison of my original portable collapsible washing machine as well. You can see it's much more smaller and it does not hold as much stuff. But for those who may need something more smaller, this video is going to be for you. It has a actual handle on it and you receive a standard plug and a basket to help you spin all of the water out of the actual clothes. And on the bottom of this washing machine, you do have these suction cut feet so that when you put it on a smooth surface like this, it will attach to it and not move around a lot. This is the port that allows you to plug it in for actual power. And here is the section where you will open up to drain out all of the water. All right, first things first, we're going to open up the actual washing machine. Very simple to do that. You will just put your hand in the middle and I like to always utilize this if you have one and push down and you can see it does expand and you do have the touch ports here which is one minute ten minute five minute and on and off right here and then you have some warning labels but it's in either Chinese or Japanese not too sure which one and you do have that also right here for the power button but let's go right ahead and get this done so I'm gonna smack it right here onto my actual countertop I'm going to plug this in as well with the cord so we can see how this works make sure this is actually in find that area right in the back all right you heard it come on smack it back down all right so let's look at the basket first so here is the basket parts and per the other one I did I think it's pretty much the same of how to assemble it so it's these little notches on here and these are much smaller than the other one this is a smaller version than the other one I did a review on and you would just find the holes that is also in here line them up as you see it connects perfectly and you would just keep going around in this circle to connect all of those notches into these openings done I'll do the other side the same way. Okay. And then done. Now you have the top part as well. And again, it has the same notches as the base part. And you're just going to connect it with the notches at the top part. So you're going to connect that as well. Just push it on down inside of that notch area. You have to get it in there initially like this as you see and then connect the second one and after you do that it becomes very simple to attach all of the other ones there we go all right so then you just push down to get this around the other ones and there you have it. All right, so my rule of thumb is whatever I can fit inside of here is what I can wash. You always wanna make sure you do not have clothes at the very top because again, it needs to move around to actually clean your clothes. If it's too full, it can't properly agitate the clothes to get the dirt out. So I like to keep this section from here up um, free of clothes um, and water. So I would have my clothes maybe come like here and then have the water go a little further above it so we can definitely have more water than actual clothes. So I'm going to put a couple of things in here I have to wash anyway. So I'm gonna put in, what size is this? A 12 month child's outfit is actually two of them. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And this one is not as big as the other one I showed. So this one is a much smaller capacity. And there you go. So that's what I would fill for this for the child one. Now, if you have adult clothes, I would say 
This is a size large man's long sleeve shirt, as you see here. Still have space. And this is a, ch a child's 5'6 fleece hoodie. Well, a pullover. And now this would be possibly enough. Just this fleece. And also the shirt by itself would be enough. And then I'm going to just go right ahead and use this as the demonstration because this is the biggest items versus the kids clothes and just see how this works. All right. So I went ahead and just unplugged it and put some next to the sink and I just poured all of the water in there from the faucet. And I'm plugging it back in as you heard. So when you are doing any laundry for one of these, it's best to use liquid detergent versus the pause because you do not need a lot of detergent to clean when you have one of these as, um, you know, your washing machine. You need a little bit and it goes a long way. So I'm just going to pour a little smidge. Just like that. And you can always monitor if you think you may need some more when you're actually using it. So I'm going to put the lid on there and to hold it long press. It turns red and it's already sound like it's moving. It's on five minutes, but I'm going to actually put it on. Okay, I'm moving on five minutes. All right, so I'm going to move the actual top. And this is a smaller version than the other one. And as you can see here, it is not even moving the clothes as much at all. I think this one is literally for, like you can see it moving, but it's not doing the full spin. So this one would, I would say, preferably be for light, lightweight clothes and not heavy clothes at all. Because as you can see, it is agitating it, it's moving it, but it's not doing the full spin. Now, to be fair, I'm going to also do a smaller, lighter weight type of clothes to wash because, as we saw, we are not able to use this for heavy items. The spinner at the bottom is not strong enough. So, I'm going to throw in there some baby stuff that has a lot of stains on there and see how this works. Trying to pick out the lightest clothing. All right, so one more, and it's going to be a onesie. Push it all down so it can all get wet. Turn it back on, and let's see what happens. There you see. Well, to be fair, it needs more water. So let me put more water in here. Now it's working properly. See how it's spinning all of the clothes. So this one right here, if you definitely only need this for lightweight clothing, nothing heavy, it will work as it's supposed to. The, the little spinner at the bottom will indeed spin your clothes so that it can get agitated to help you get those clean. Okay, the five minutes are up and this is what it looks like now let's just see if well i can't even really say yes or no because this was already stained so so let's look at some i know that wasn't stained isn't that was this this had baby food on there and it doesn't anymore so okay it did clean that yeah, this one had a lot of baby food on there too. And this, again, these are like stain situations, but this is what it would look like normally in the washing machine. Yep, this one's the one I already saw that was already stained up a lot. Yeah, so it actually did make it clean. Okay, so it does work for that. And yeah, and this was only for five minutes. Of course, you can make it go again if you want to, but now you want to rinse it out. So pretty much you will let all the water come out, put in new water, fresh water by itself so it can rinse out all of the soap, and then you can go into the spin. I'm not going to show me rinsing it out because it's the same process and, you know, it's very simple. So let me go show you how to spin it all out.
The spinner basket has these little notches on there that will line up with the notches as you see right here at the base. So just put it in there. Push it down. And as you see, it is now stuck in place. So I'm just going to put in some of the clothes that has been rinsed. Now, what I don't like so far is that typically the one I showed before, it has a, like, like a little plastic piece that goes on top to avoid any of the clothes potentially popping out. But this one doesn't come with one. So we're going to just see if this actually will work. Um, I still have the drain opening over here open so that the water can flow out. So I'm going to just turn this back on, which is on the opposite side. And there it goes spinning. And there is the water. So it stops and goes, stops and goes. All right, so it spun around for five minutes, but I can tell this motor is not that powerful at all. As I take out my clothes, you can still see all this water is still inside of it. So this is good for giving you a quick little wash for small items, but when it comes to wringing out the clothes, I didn't even see a lot of water swishing on the sides to indicate the power that it is extracting the water from the actual item. So I wouldn't be like, okay, but I mean, if I needed something like this to get my clothes washed and I can physically squeeze the water out by wringing them out by hand, then yeah, you don't have to wash. You can just go right ahead and use this to actually wash and you just wring it out yourself. But yeah, that's what you can expect if you were to buy this collapsible washing machine.